Hello everybody, it's Swift here again, and today I'll be playing Peg Idol. The game is a Peggle Idol game. That means we're gonna be using this gun up here to shoot these pegs to get money and prestige points, and then also automate all this thing as an idle game should do, right? So uh, the idea is we just shoot a ball. Right now we have this one ball, the level one ball is this normal regular ball upgrade which gives us one coin, it uh, doesn't shoot on itself, there is no auto happening right now, and we can only shoot one at a time. That's pretty much how this reads here. We can upgrade how much money it gives us, we can upgrade how many uh, we get randomly from the idle aspect of the game, and we can also upgrade how many we can shoot in the air at the same time. That's it. And then there are more pegs, uh, I guess more orbs, balls, whatever you can upgrade here, and that's pretty much the whole idea of the game. So um, let's shoot. First of all, green pegs do nothing, yellow pegs give us coins, and red pegs give us prestige prestige therefore meta progression so to speak so let's take the first shot and wait for the peggle to go down also getting into this or ball here is gonna give us and well the the bucket is gonna give us also coins uh, the idea is we want to be shooting as often as possible and clear the board as often as possible because there is a mechanic which says that we charge up our minigun every time we clear a board and when we uh, charge it up to fully it shoots 15 orbs randomly it's like ta -ta 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 -ta. so this is pretty much the very very starting premise of this game we're gonna be taking shots trying to clear the board one at a time and i should definitely invest economy into this i should actually wait for the random pegs to happen before i invest more into this because honestly we want to be gaining uh more orbs shot out for free although i think getting more economy going is better so right now i'm gonna be upgrading how much money we gain from each gold we got a get or for each peg we pocket into the bucket here both of those things is an aspect of this game uh and i we got eight i think we're gonna go for the let's actually go to four coins each shot go in nah i didn't go in let's take another shot now in general clearing out the greens isn't really that helpful it's more helpful to just take a random pot shot right that and get money you know this is how you abuse money and now let's go with boom every three seconds we're gonna be gaining a random regular shot here that's gonna help us clear the board or give us random money if it happens to go in the bucket now i can also as i said shoot into the bucket by hand while well, that was a big fail here to farm money so to speak i mean that's how you farm money in this game just uh, it's a clicker game right <laughs> idle games are always clicker games alongside everything else let's just take a couple of shots here so we have two orbs now and i can now do double shots into that now obviously the orbs do not crash into each other because that would have been an issue late game because there is going to be some kind of late game madness where just a million pegs fall all over the place it's become super rich here let's make this give us more and more money and let's also make the rain happen faster and faster so we're gonna now get eight coins per peggle shot uh, while we're farming. In general, the idea is we want to be farming money and prestige. Now, prestige, the red orbs you find by going through stages. So this here, although it looks like I'm abusing the system right now, isn't really helping us in the grand scheme of things as we want the prestige points. That's going to help us currently three balls and them giving us a lot of money is the play. And now let's actually go to the next stage. Now that I have three orbs, we're going to actually start going through the boards here as that's gonna give us prestige and also still money. We got two prestige points. In general, I want to get at least 20 prestige to unlock the next stage because there are stages right now in like the first stage, so to speak, that has very small and simple boards. And I want to go to the final stage, uh, to the next stage, uh, not the final one, the, the next stage, level two, so that we get bigger boards uh, that can also give us more econ. Uh, because more boards means more chance to get prestige pegs more chance to get gold pegs because all of these have a chance to appear uh, these are two very hard shots to get uh, but we're gonna get them first of all we're gonna unlock the next door which is the bouncy ball here we're gonna use the bouncy ball to get that hit there and the other side too now from this one i only have one right now the same this has the same upgrades as the other one but i can change these by pressing and i can shoot all of them i can shoot these three plus the bouncing ball Right, I can shoot these three plus the bouncing ball. So there shouldn't really be an issue. The more I have, I'm just going to be clicking and spamming the more and more and more and more. There is no reason to actually try to stick to one. So to speak, I'm just going to be pressing this all the time and shooting random orbs all over the place. That's how I was thinking about playing it. So let's go to the level. That was a bad level. This is the machine gun effect I was talking about. That thing just happened on its own. I didn't really do anything. Let's go with the second one of the bouncing balls. Let's also go with a randomly appearing bouncing balls from the sky. I will always be spamming one and two all the time. Like I will be switching between them because there is no reason to not actually do that. Uh, by the way, for the dev, an idea, don't have the uh, settings over here where people are clicking. Put the settings over there on the right side where, where nobody is clicking. 
select purchase type okay max or times one yeah that's a classic idle game upgrade system that's mostly for late game when uh you will be gaining like millions upon millions of coinage and you don't know what to do with it let's make the bouncy ball give us more money let's also make the regular ball give us more money and i'm gonna make it rain regular balls a moment for now we're just going for the upgrades you know simple enough uh let's make these uh, more of them up here and also make them more valuable uh we get less and less cooldown here i think the cooldown is percentage based because the more you upgrade the cooldown the less the upgrades actually give you. I'm blind for some reason. I mean, it's a thing that we're blind in general. Uh, we even have a whole emoji about that. And machine gun just happened. It's also get more econ going. And look at this good old machine gun cleared pretty much the next stage here. We have six prestige points. As I said, we need at least 20. I would say I want to get about 50, if not 100, if possible. Uh, now, the prestige points in general are in the um, amounts of 20 per point per, uh, per level up, 3D per level up, and there are some 6,000 prestige point level ups. Uh, I'm gonna get to the prestige system when we get to 50 prestige points, and we're gonna see how we go. Also, I'm gonna do this abuse the money system again in a moment, but I'm waiting for a good stage because all of these stages have like triangles and weird stuff in the middle. There is a stage I know specifically that is very much abuse for money stage. I'm pretty sure the dev did it on purpose. I would hope they did it on purpose. We got the bad stage again. This might be the worst one, to be honest. Uh, let's get bouncing balls rain happening a bit faster, although I don't think it's that much worth it. I think it's a bit more worth it to go for the normal ball rain, as it's a lot cheaper. And um, I think we want as many simple balls to be raining. This is the stage, by the way. This is the stage where we're going to be farming money. So I will be farming money until uh, the random orbs just decide to take those right sides. Yeah, this is farm money city, man. I'm going to get the next orb here for a thousand. This is the ball or the rock orb, so to speak. Uh, this is more money and it just goes straight up down. That's the idea. It's the opposite of the bouncing orb. Let's continue making money here. As I said, this is the abuse level. So we're going to be abusing the level. I mean, I shouldn't really be using that word because YouTube is not really good understanding what you're trying to exactly say. Let's definitely get another one of those orbs. And I definitely want more of those too because I want to be sending more in here so we can get more money out of that. Da -da 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 -da. We're about to leave this stage. Let's go one more of you and more money. And one more of you and more money. Please, game, do not uh, leave me. I don't want to leave the stage. The stage is the best. Money, 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 money. Nice. This is almost not a clicker at this point. I mean, let's get this. This is, by the way, multiplier on how much money you gain by sending them in the pit. I don't think the multiplier is that much worth it this early. Like, 0.2% is... I mean, 2%. It's just 2%. 2% isn't really that much. So, um, yeah, there goes that. But it is what it is. Let's level this up. And actually, let's level this up by a lot. And this one, too. And let's go back into shooting those in there. I'm just multi-spamming 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, something. Them in. As you see, the next orb over there costs 17,000. So the game almost tells you to, um, you know, if you get all the upgrades, just stop really playing. <laughs> 17,000 is a bit too much. I think you need prestige for that to actually be able to, you know, happen. 4,000. I'm already at 4,000. I could se oh, theoretically go to the 17,000. But I think it's better to just upgrade the things we already have. Nine at a time here. Oh, this is very much worth it. And let's make the rain happen a bit more often. And let's go back and sending these for 152 per pop. This stone one specifically. There is only one peg left at the very top right. It's gonna get hit at some point here and we're gonna change stages. So this is a good money stage, so to speak. Pretty sure there is some kind of stage that literally has no... Um, nothing in between and you just send them all in for free. Let's upgrade this fully. Very nice. And let's also upgrade this a little bit. Let's continue with the money. Now in classic idle game fashion, there is gonna be a bit of repetition in general and just, you know, farming happening. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Can I continue shooting money in there? And I think we're closing in to me getting buoyed here and just sending the top right side on myself. I think I'm going to do that though yet. Let's go with a bigger bucket. Uh, should I go for the bomb peggle now that I'm thinking about this? Maybe I should go for the bomb peggle. Uh, let's get 17,000 and get that bomb going. And then I think we're going to just leave this. By the way, I really think this game is going to give me a carpet tunnel. This just happened on its own, so cancel the plan. I'm gonna go with uh, stop clicking for a moment and now let's go back with clicking wherever. So uh, this is pretty much how the game plays in general. This is most of the gameplay. Uh, now, as I said, there is 
prestige, there are meta progression things happening. Uh, the main thing is that you unlock new stages, new levels, and also, obviously, no more economy. How will I get those back there? Maybe I should hit the other opposite corner and they just bounce over to the other side. Uh, let's try to shoot all over the place and see if something is gonna land. Uh, there is a rain of peggle happening. Hot, got it. Nice. Let's condition. I now have almost enough money for the 17,000. I'm gonna now actually amass money to see how worth that orb is. I have none of these raining, right? Yeah, let's actually get at least some of these raining. Now every three seconds we're gonna get the boulder orb raining from the sky. And let me actually showcase what the boulder orb looks like when getting shot. So this is it. Boom, it just goes down. You see, it's, it's just a thing that just straight up goes down. That's the idea there. Let's get the bomb, which I've never seen. Bomb ball upgrade. This is up to how much I played, by the way. 87 per coin. Uh, what does this look like? Boom. Oh, it splits. Wow, it's the Matroshka, boys. And does each of them going in give you money? Or um, how exactly does that work? Each of them going in gives you money. Okay, so that's obviously insane. That's the best one yet. How much does an upgrade cost? 4,000 for plus 87 coins. Okay. I mean, uh, let's first of all make it rain. I want to make these bombs actually be appearing. Okay, we got a very, very good one. Oh, here we go. We got the mega stage. Go in, money. Nice. Let's go money, 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 money. Let's start getting some upgrades rolling. I want you to be raining. Every three seconds. And I would like the us to have one more stone. In general, I should stop shooting the non-stone upgrades. Like, I should stop shooting the basic ones, to be honest. I should only be shooting the last three all the time, as in all these meta progression games. Oh, wait a minute, that's a lie, because this gives me 71. Why is it that good? 2,000? 1,000. Yeah, now this became better. I mean, fact of the matter is, you should always be upgrading pretty much everything in these games. Um, but yeah, if possible, I would like to be shooting the most expensive ones up there. Let's get this becoming more expensive. 10,000 for the next one of those. That's a bit too much. But is that also true? I don't think that's true. We are always at 10,000 already. Yeah, look at this. And we got the money. Let's get another one of these. Now these cost 10,000. And now I have more explosives and more money in general. Look at those explosions. Look at those explosions. I think I should make it rain with explosions. Just make all my orbs the explosion orbs. Like, all in on the explosion idea. And now we're slowly starting to get uh, a lot of more meta progression. A lot more reds. And here we go with the money area again. So that's gonna be a lot of money going in. Uh, let's make it rain a bit more bombs for 9,000. Uh, I wouldn't say it's that much worth it. Getting the more rain. It costs a bit too much. Boom, 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 boom. Look at this money. Look at this money, we're just becoming rich. Let's make, whoop, not prestige by mistake. That's definitely, definitely not prestige by mistake. 2,300 on those, and 700 on those. Wow, the bombs are 700 per piece? Okay, well, this also follows the classic formula of all those idle games, which is the later things you unlock are 100% better than anything previously to that. I guess, because you cannot compare 700 to 200, and you can definitely not compare 200 to, to, to 100. So, um, yeah, we're sticking to the idea of just, just invest into the things you already have invested in. Ooh, 9999, yep, very nice. I would like to now make it rain bombs. By the way, the game allows you to stop making it rain any other orb you have. For example, you can just say, I don't want these anymore, 71 is too low. I don't want these anymore either, and then I only want these and these to spawn, for example. Which uh, might make it so that we're never gonna clear the stage, to be honest. Which, uh, is that bad? I mean, theoretically it is bad. Practically, maybe it's not. Dun, 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 dun. I, I, this music reminds me of something, man. I've definitely heard this music before. Oh, look at how much money we have. 48, 50,000. Let's actually multiply this a little bit. Nice, now we're gonna make money even faster. 1000 per pop, by the way. Do you see how much money we make now? Do you see how much worth it it was not actually using anything else other than my main mega orbs? And I'm not even gonna use the red orbs either. Now I only use the two main orbs we have here. Ooh, 1000 on the bombs, by the way. Maybe I don't need the rocks either at all. Like, only stick to the bombs. Only bombs, man. Only bombs. 94,000 there on the upgrade. Let's actually do that. How many bombs do we have right now? Three. Okay, if I can make the bombs, whoop, we are clear the stage. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I mean, it is good for sure. Let's send everything in. Very nice, off to the next stage we go. 
The bombs are really good at clearing out in general because of the splits they do. And also we have secondary orbs too, so let's continue making money. 700 and 800. 80,000 now machine gun effect is happening. Uh, let's go with even more money on the bombs. And uh, I don't need more of these. Let's make it maybe rain a little bit more of those. Yeah, every two seconds I could get an boulder. And then every 2.3 get one of the bombs. I think we're okay with these. I think we are okay with the ones we have. Send them, send them boys, send them. Now the time has come to farm some red orbs. Is what I think. Time to farm some prestige meta progression. Until we get to the good stage again. Oh, this is a new stage. This is something we never fought before. Fought is a strong word here, but it's okay. Uh, honestly, clearing stages means you should just be doing activate this and activate that. Let's just let it rain all the orbs we have. And if anything, I would say let's make these even faster. Yep. Wow, this can become very fast. And let's make these very fast too, because these are the bouncing orbs. And bouncing orbs are really good at bouncing around and getting all the orbs done. Yeah, look at it. It's raining. Here we go. Now the game is a go. Now the game is a go. Let's clear out. Uh, am I recording, by the way? Yes, I am. Let's continue on. Uh, I will only be shooting these two. I don't want to have the bouncing shots. I don't need the bouncing shots, so I'm going to be shooting only for money. And then the shots in itself are going to be clearing out everything else. Uh, we got 26 prestige. Once again, the idea of prestige uh, is we want to hit about... I would say about 50. Oh, this is an easy stage. Ooh, that, that, that this got cleared very fast. Uh, let's make it rain more. Oh, no, that's expensive. In general, I want to just make it rain more so that I can clear these stages faster. So let's just make it rain whatever is cheap. Bouncing orbs and these ones. 0.8 on those normal orbs. Over 0.8, I get normal orb. That doesn't give us that much money. But it definitely gives us clearing speed. So, um, yeah, that's the main idea, clearing speed. I should try to target money myself. Like, I should just be shooting things in the money pit because the stage is going to be cleared anyway. Although, honestly speaking, me targeting things make things move along a lot faster. Maybe I shouldn't even be shooting anything other than bomb orbs. Uh, ah, no. Maybe only bombs. Oh, this is a new stage too. Look at this. Look at this. Bomb orbs. Let's go. Explosions. Explosions. Nice. Even more money. How much does this give us, by the way? 1,000 plus. And this is also, I think, a new stage. How much is my charge? 88. I think in the next stage we're going to be getting an ultimate. By the way, the charge thing with the ultimate happens uh, less and less. I just got 13 charge, for example. You're going to see now in the next stage I'm going to get less than 13. I'm going to get something like 10, 11. So the game is just pushing you to prestige at some point. What is this? What is this? Challenges. Reward increased gold game by 1%. Clear all boards on level 1. Okay. So that was a good idea sitting here. Complete the challenge. Have a total of 100 gold. There are achievements too. I didn't even realize. Statistics are here too. Nice. Uh, increase gold reward by shots by 3 if I stay, if I clear the stage 2. Okay, so clearing stages, uh, you should actually stay around, I guess, until you definitely clear everything out. There is also this thing. A gold multiplier per peg hit. So let's also definitely... Uh, invest into that so we get more money from the pegboards themselves 200 plus money i have 12,000 in the bank sitting around uh how much do i need for another bomb orb 94,000 that's a bit too much my prestige is at 41 uh i would say for safety sake let's prestige at i wouldn't say 100 let's say 60 I think one of the upgrades cost like 30 and the level up upgrade cost like 20. I would like to avoid getting stuck with prestige points that I'm not able to do anything. I think that's also a big issue of the game. They don't have small prestige pointers. It's like all of them cost 20, 30, 40 or whatever. I think there should be some kind of small reward that costs like one. You're gonna see when we get to the prestige board. We just put my ultimate up. Very nice. Uh, let's make it rain a lot more bouncing orbs. Oh no, those are expensive. 8,000. Now this is every 0.7. It's literally raining, those boys. It's literally raining. Maybe I should just go... Yeah, 6,000 on those. Man, those upgrades are very exponentially expensive. I mean, makes sense. Incremental games are... Oh, no, 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 this is the money stage. No, That was a mistake. <laughs> I think... You know what? I'm gonna say we go up to 60. Is what I'm gonna say. I got 51. We are very close to 60 here. I mean, I'm, I'm really good at clearing fast, so um, 
Yeah, I think we're gonna get the 60 pretty fast here. Well, it's just a waiting game at this point. And let's go. Another 51. I'm still at 51. What happened? Am I not getting prestige? Is there a soft lock? I hope there is no soft lock in the game. Nope, here is more prestige. We got two more points. We're at 53. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure they are... There is a meta progression for getting more meta progression. So, uh, that's pretty, pretty important to gain. That's why I'm trying to get to 60 here. Because if there is a... I, I am pretty sure there is a meta progression that says meta progression is valued as plus one. So, instead of getting one meta per red, you get two meta per red. And that's, you know, obviously the most important thing to get. Obviously. Uh, let's go faster on the bombs and more money on the bombs. That's what I believe. Let's go on up to 60. Oh, here we got another one. Very nice. We're 57. I'm pretty sure... You know what? Maybe 65. Let's go 65. Just in case we have some upgrades that cost 25 or 35. Just for surety. Just for surety. We're definitely getting the next level upgrade. We're definitely going for seeing the next level. So that we get a little, a little bit of a different background. We're at 60. So 65 it is. You know what's coming, right? You know what's coming when I'm gonna get to 64? <laughs> I'm gonna say, everybody ready for it? No, I'm kidding. And we're definitely going up to 60. And then off we go. Seems like a soft lock again. The game does not seem to be providing us with more. Uh, I'm not gonna upgrade anything else, by the way. I'm gonna try to get this orb to see what it does. So that we have some idea here as to what is worth it and whatnot. So, um, yeah, because I'm really excited. In general, the orbs have been scaling in a decent manner. Wait a minute, why am I still at 61? Come on, man, don't tell me there is a soft lock at 60. I really hope there is no soft lock in general. Like, I really hope the game allows you to just play in stage as long as you want. Nice, we got 63. Now that I got 64, you know what I'm gonna say. We're gonna go to 70 now. Wait a minute. So let's assume that one upgrade costs 20 and the other costs 30. I'm gonna go to 70, assuming that there is a 20 upgrade, a 3D upgrade, and a 20 upgrade. That's what I'm going with now. And then I'm gonna make that 80, because there are gonna be two 60 upgrades and one 20 upgrade. And my editor's gonna be like, stop doing that, bro. Uh, so, what I want to do, what I wanted to do, I guess, was to try to get up to 35,000 here. Try to get that orb, but I don't think we're gonna ever get to 35,000. I mean, look how fast we gain money, and we, it's still pretty far away. Yeah, no, there is no reason to do that. We're gonna get that next orb on stage 2. For now, let's just clear out. Uh, let's make it rain a lot, a lot, a lot more. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Clear the board. 68. Should I go up to 70, 80 is the question now. I think I'm overdoing it. Although I'm not really sure. 69, by the way. Nice. Okay, we got the prestige 70. Let's actually go for it. So, uh, prestige. Press the prestige button. Are you sure you want a prestige? Yes. And uh, here we go. First of all, no, this is one. No, this is one. No, you know what? We're gonna close this. We go back to the level, and we're gonna just hit a single red one. Here we go. There is a red one down there, right here, right here, right here. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna go prestige. <laughs> so, seventy-one. Boom. This cost one. Let's see what else we got. For twenty, increase gold gain by ten percent. For twelve. Bull's shot give 10% more gold. I guess it's straight up better. With 20, you unlock the level 2, which is a mid-sized bucket. Level 2 contains 15 different boards. Each board contains around 120 to 160 pegs. We definitely upgrade this. The next one costs 150, by the way. <clears throat> um, this thing, prestige pegs. Oh, I knew this uh, something was going to be costing 5. Prestige pegs now give plus 1 prestige point. 0.1 prestige peg spawn chance. 3d5. This is a guaranteed take. And then red pegs will start spawning. Red pegs have a 0.2% chance to spawn. And uh, red pegs give both gold and prestige point. And then we got this thing. You have can now shoot two bulls at once, 6,500. Well, definitely we go with this for 35. And I have 15 left. I should have gone for... Um, I, I would have liked to get this, honestly. Uh, and 40 and 40. Prestige spawn rate and prestige spawn rate. You know what? I'm going to take this. I don't want more gold gain. I just want these to spawn. The 0.2%. The so, now that I have the prestige points give us plus one, we're gonna go to stage one again, so we don't spoil anything. We're gonna just look where the red is. It's nowhere, so we go prestige again. There is a little abuse mechanics happening here. We're gonna just, uh, you know, use and abuse the system and just, you know, and we're gonna look for a red one. And there is a red one at the bottom right corner, and I think this shot should take it. Didn't take it. 
Uh, let's take another one. And we got it. Nope. And let's try another one. And we got... Nope. Let's try another one over here on the right side. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it eventually. We're gonna get it eventually. Uh, nope. That's not it. Let's go a little bit more to down. Nice money. Doesn't matter. Uh, nope. A bit more down. Uh, a bit more down. Perfect shot. Nope. A bit more down. One. Nope. A little bit more. Uh, nope. A little bit more. Actually, a little bit higher now. It's unbelievable that's happening right now. Come on, man. Maybe a lot higher. Whoop. No, unbelievable. Maybe the exact same shot this time without the pegs. Nope, maybe a bit higher. This is unbelievable that's happening. A bit more lower, so it hits the crystal on the right side. Okay, a bit more lower, so it hits the crystal on the right side. This is such a bad ore, by the way. Oh! Yeah, I got it. Okay, so now we go back to Prestige. I would have just Prestige a bunch of times and gotten a better stage. And I'm gonna also have Red Orbs spawning at 0.2 spawn chance. Uh, red Orbs have even more and even more. Yeah, let's uh, let's go. Let's go. Now we go to level 2. So as you see, level 1 is 15 stages of 76 to 125. This is 15 stages of 120 to 160. So it's literally bigger. Uh, guaranteed better. And the bug size is gonna be the same. So let's go to level 2 and see those new stages. Here we go. Let's take the shot. Got a coin. Right, we're gonna start the exact same thing. I'm gonna do a run until I hit, I would say, 200... I would say 300, honestly. Let's take the shots here. I'm not sure. 300. I'm, I'm gonna see how much we're gonna go for this. Maybe we're gonna go it, or do it with time. I would say 300, though, would be nice. If I can get 300. We're gonna definitely increase money first. Got it. Okay, let's go now for two pointers. Uh, I would like to get money again, but I think raining is a better choice. Nice money again. <laughs> so if be like... Well, I get some percentage-based money. Yeah, I got 1% more income, right? Or three... Three coins, nine, and one more to start getting free shots. Nice, now let's go get free shots. So I can start getting free economy rolling. <laughs> that was a very good shot I saw. Uh, let's continue with increasing this thing's price. Nice, it's raining. Take the shot over there. Of course, the stage is very bad for farming. We're gonna see which stage is gonna be good for farming. Four Cointer. Another one, let's make it five. Uh, the only thing I want to be doing, by the way, is obviously clearing the board. There is no reason for me to target money and specifically... Whoa, that was a god shot. That was a god shot if I ever saw one. I should have made the rain a bit faster. Should I? I don't think so. The rain at three speed is decent enough. Whoa, six coins for that. Nice. Let's make the let's make the orb give us a bit more. Go in, nice. Six point one, a two, and a seven. Wait a minute. Why was that one shot a seven and the other one was a six? I thought the orb upgrades mid-flight anyway. Seven point one, and another seven point one. Very nice. Fourteen. Let's make these a bit more valuable. Let's go over here. Side shot, nice. And let's go over there, and we're done. Very nice. Ooh. What is this stage? This is even worse. <laughs> I think it's arrows. This points there, this points there. Oh, it's arrows pointing towards the squares. I see. I, I like the design idea. I don't like the stage in itself. Let's go with two orbs so we can shoot a bit faster. Then we can have things rolling. I'm gonna go for a third orb before I do anything else because I'm already at 70 coins here. And having a target, specifically shooting, is very important because when I will get a good stage, I'm gonna be sending like a bunch of orbs into the bin so I can really quickly build econ. I think it's pretty important to have an economy rolling because otherwise you're gonna get stuck. Let's try to hit this. Uh, you know what, let's actually try to hit the easy ones first because it's raining anyway, so um, we're gonna be getting random shots uh, on things where I want them to be go regardless of what's happening. Nice, let's increase my econ. Actually, I'm gonna start making it rain a bit more. Let's take some shots on that one. Nice, got him. Wait a minute. Shooting three times the same? No, it's exactly the same. Nice. For one second, I thought that there is randomization happening. There should never be randomization in Peggle games. It should always be the same shot goes to the same place. I'm trying to do similar shots. I'm trying to slowly move upwards while I'm shooting. Nice. These are very, very bad pegs where they are there. Whoa. We'll go from in between. Nope, nope, nope. Nice. And I got the hardest one too, so now I just need to get a bounce going. Whoa, nope. Uh, well, this is going to be a very hard order to hit. 
try to maybe find a corner. Oh, that was a good shot. No. No. Okay, I think the time has come to make some econ. Because I want to unlock that one, because I'm not seeing how we're gonna get that thing. I mean, I could try. I'm not sure if I will get it, though. I shouldn't really try random. Maybe like this. Nope, like that. If it bounces to that uh, gray one, it's gonna happen. I mean, everything is a gray one. Oh, that was a nice cut. Come on, hit there, and maybe bounce up. No, it's losing power. So maybe if I shoot that gray one right away... That's a very hard shot to get, man. I'm also in pain because I got hurt a couple of days ago. Oh, I don't think I can get that. We're going for economy, man. We're, we're unlocking the bouncing ball. Let's go econ. I'm waiting for econ. Nice. Let's get the bouncing ball. Help me, bouncing ball. Help me, bouncing ball. Eh? Okay, this bounces so much. I think we can do it with this. And we even got it in. Wow. Okay, at least go down or in. Let's go here. Go down or in, please. Here. And maybe on the other side. Oh yeah, I think it's the other side. Here maybe. Yes, nice. We're out. We are out, boys. We are out of that. <laughs> we are out of there. Uh, now I got two bouncing balls to shoot. These give us more money, by the way. These stages are not good. These stages are very bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all the stages are gonna be worse and worse. You know, I think the idea is obviously that you know what you're doing and you're winning slowly. Nice bouncing shot there. I think this is a very bad... How will I get these? I guess the bouncing ball is gonna do its magic. And then over here and one more over here. Maybe a better corner shot. Oh, you know what? Having two different type of orbs is definitely helping. Make it rain bouncing shots. It's gonna definitely also help. And now we start expediting what we're doing, which is we're starting to just randomly shoot like we were doing previously, so that we slowly can start clearing out everything. Oh, this is a good uh, farming area. Nice. It's a decent one. It's not a good one, but it's a decent one. Let's go for the rock stone. Rock and stone, boys! Rock and stone! Whoop. Missed everything. We're about to get that one, and then we're gonna be done from here. That's a good chance to make money. Nope, it's really... It is what it is. This is not that much of a good stage. I'm not sure if the stage is up here in random order. Uh, I got some kind of achievement. Uh, bounce on a bouncy ball on 20 pegs. Okay, I didn't see what I got though. I got an increased gold gain by 2%. Nice. I enjoy this. I enjoy that we have the aspect of getting those things. Also, the game definitely, in case it doesn't have it, right? I'm gonna now preface here. The game definitely needs those, all the in idle game aspects that all those idle games have. You know, I would like to see some relics. I would like to see some unlockables. I don't know, man. Depending on what you enjoy in idle games, to be honest. I enjoy everything in idle games. They can just do whatever they want. Oh, oh. My shoulder is in pain. I'm in so much pain. Nice, got it. And now we got the arrow rain. I'm gonna go for the stone gem next. So we have a better... Uh, a little bit of everything. Having all the stones exist, all the balls existing, I think is helping you more than not. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was the easy stage. Oh, this is a very easy stage. Yeah, this is gonna get cleared pretty fast. So this is the fast clear stage. The meta progression gathering stage, I guess. Uh, let's go. Okay, now we got the stone, so now I'm gonna be pressing all the buttons. I would like to buy more orbs on all my other orbs, so I can shoot a bit more. I would like 450 for that. And we got to this one again. No, I don't think I have that one. Let's get one more of these, so we can have three of them, so we can shoot a bit more. Is that three or two? Three, yeah. And now I would like to increase my econ... Or increase the rain, honestly. Can I get there? I think with a bouncing shot from this corner. Come on, man. Got it. Let's make it rain. And let's make us the rain give us more money. We got the easy stage again. The prestige stage, so to speak. Uh, I would say I'm uh, playing until I hit 300 prestige. I think 300 prestige is doable. Because now I have 1% higher prestige chance. 
And also, uh, it, we get two prestige per prestige. Okay, we got the rain going. I need the money stage, though. Without the money stage, this is not really possible. And now that I'm thinking about this, maybe the idea is you want to be going for uh, the first level so you can get a bunch of money and just break the game. Unless the dev didn't think about m money, the money play I was doing previously, and the idea was not to become that busted. It's such nice, thank you. Let's continue on shooting everywhere. Let's get some more bouncing balls, and in general, let's make it rain more bouncing balls. I think the bouncing balls are really good at clearing. Of course, I would like to skip to bombs, because the bombs seem to be the best at clearing. But bounce definitely helps. How will I get over there, man? How will I get over there? Maybe for random shots. Corner shots. Oh, got him. No. Yes, nice. This is a good stage. This one I don't want to clear. This one I want to make money in. Let's try to not clear this. I mean, I'm gonna allow the game to clear it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna pause the game and be like, no, we stop shooting. Because you can do that. You can obviously disable all the shots other than your own shots. But I'm not gonna do that. Oh. Oh, money, money. Try to get 17,000. No, I don't think so. Money, 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 money. Nice. We got pretty powerful here. Let's make these have more value. Let's make these have more. Give me another one of these. 95 on those ones. I think I. Oh, I'm cleared. No. <laughs> Another bad stage. <laughs> no, I think this is a decent-ish one. Wow, that was a super shot. Instant replay. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Hopefully, add it to an instant replay. Let's go. Shoot over there in the corner. I think the good thing with the stone is it just slides instantly down. And now, we got those random shots we hope to hit. Let's make this more. This is never happening. Shooting random directions, go. Random machine gunnery over the right side, go. I need the bouncing ball to hit here and right, nice. Oh, okay. This is a cool stage. The stone's just, look at the stone doing its work. No, look at the stone doing its work, whoop, whoop. Stone, go, stone, go, stone, go. Stone, you are the chosen one, you're not supposed to join them. Um. I trusted you. You were like a brother to me. I'm pretty sure random edit's gonna come in here. Uh, let's go with nice shot, good. And now we got machine gun read. Oh, we got the X's. Oh, this is a very fast stage to clear. Nice. Nice. And we got back to this one again. And I'm already at 44 prestige. Although I started believing that the first stage was better. Although the first stage had less pegs, which should have been worse. I think the fact that it had less um, noise, so to speak, made it better, which I would like to say the balance shouldn't be like that. Why would anybody want to come to stage 2 if uh, it's this much worse, right? Because right now I can't really build econ is my main issue. Whoop. I'm trying though. Whoop, that was a big miss on my end. Econ. Nope, miss. Missed. Econ. Missed. Econ. Money, 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 money. Let's go. Okay, I'm at 9,000. I think we're going for the bombs, man. Because the next time I got an Econ with the bombs ready, I will uh, just straight up break everything. We're at 10,000. I can do 7,000 more. Well, that's a bad thing. <laughs> That was bad. We're at 12,000, 12, almost. I don't even have enough orbs to shoot everything and then wait. So, uh, let's continue. Oh, something happened in my real life here. But that's why I said, whoop. Oh, there is a red orb here. Nice. We got... We got Econ and Prestige. Prestige is at 60. So it's where it previously was. It's where we began the run with. We can now go for the 10% more money gain, which honestly does make a difference. And the money, the numbers. Oh, this is the perfect stage for economy. Okay, let's actually make economy here. Let's just stop everything from shooting randomly. Let's just make econ. 
And I imagine this, those couple of random shots I'm getting being the difference makers. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go again back. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, little look at the bouncing shots, really trying to end this run. Nice, let's go here. Bombs. So these are 500 per pop. Which is a lot of money, obviously. Okay, can I get more of these? 10,000. Nice, come back. This is the stage, man. Whoop, one of them is done. Yeah, even if I want to or not, I will be hitting those regardless. So, it's built in that you cannot permanently do these. Got an achievement, shoot 5,000 balls. Let's get two of these now, so we get double the economy from those. Nice. Okay, let's increase the economy of this by a lot. I guess now I can also shoot the corner piece there. Because over there we don't have anything else anymore going in. Nice, 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 nice. Make these more and more and more. We're gonna make them rain in a moment, but for now we're just building the econ. I think this is how you're supposed to play this game. Nice, make them even more valuable. And even more valuable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! That bouncing shot, man. Peglin be like. Peggle be like. Boom. Let's go again. And over here. And then over here again. Very nice. Ooh, a thousand per shot now. A thousand. No, that shot is it. Nope, it's not. No, that was it though. And uh, now we're gonna just reactivate everything, so we go through stages that are bad or whatever. Also go with bomb mode. Everything is activated. Uh, let's make bombs give us even more money. And let's go on until we find another good stage for economy. Oh, this is it. Stop. 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 Okay, let's go. We make money now. Are those bouncing orbs are going to be an issue? I think this should be the last money I should make. Although, honestly, we've got 20,000. I can also upgrade this, by the way. Now we got even more money out of everything. Another solution is to just straight up never shoot bouncing orbs. Yeah, because, I mean, these are giving us, what, 53. Hold this up to 200. Uh, this is locked completely. Okay. And uh, I want more. So we're going for that 20k. That was a shot there. Well, the good thing is, if, if I shoot a bomb towards that thing... We're gonna obviously, um, it's gonna pop and then it's gonna get everything exploding. But if I get a stone by mistake, then we don't have an issue with that. Can I only shoot these? I mean, I can, but there is no real reason to. Because I can shoot all of them in the same amount of time. Nice. Make even more money. If I could have four of them, then there wouldn't be a reason. Ah, nah, let's just continue shooting everything. The stones also go in easier. I'm abusing the mechanics of the system provided to me. Welcome to the channel, in case you're new. Very simplistic game. But definitely infinite reliability. Now, I'm abusing mechanics here. Obviously, I would like to be able to skip to how busted we could have become with all the meta progression, but the game is supposed to be, you know, lasting a long while. As of all those games with meta progression do. Nice, let's go with... I want four bombs. Let's continue. Let's go bombs four, so I can only shoot bombs if I want to. Nice, nice. Only bombs, only bombs. A thousand per pop, I mean two thousand per pop. Let's go money. And let's continue on. 2019. Okay, that's like three years ago. I mean, by three years, I mean four years ago. Do you feel old yet? By four years, I mean five years ago. I'm making it worse. 
is plus 87, which actually is more than 87 because obviously we have a multiplier on the pockets. And now I want to hit the 35,000, is what I would say. Now we're gonna check what this thing does. Because I mean, look how fast we got to 100,000. Okay, here we go. We got the Aqua Ball. 7,000 per shot. Like, what? Okay, let's shoot with the Aqua Ball then. Well, it's 7,000 per shot, so... 8,000 plus. Okay, we're getting a lot of money out of this now. So, obviously, I would like to level up the Aqua Ball now. Ooh, look how much we're making, man. Nice, what can I get for this? Nothing. 800. I would like to at least get a second one. Because I think that's increasing. I think getting a second one is the one that gives you the most economy. Shooting these faster pretty much. Who missed them? Nice. We're super duper rich now. And as in every single auto battler ever, as I said, uh, I don't not auto battler, you always want to be using and leveling up the highest tier thing, always. Like, uh, if I could get 13 million, that would have made the biggest difference between all of those. Always, that's like always the thing. If you play like a venture capitalist or pretty much any idle game ever, you just always get the final upgrade. That always gives you the most money between all the choices you ever had. Okay. So, uh, the issue with this one, though, is that there is no idle money gaining happening. Uh, which makes it so that you don't want to go into the next stage if you get a good stage that gives you money. Unless, I mean, you do get idle money, now that I'm thinking about this, by the fact that... Can I see what the Aqua Ball does? What does this do? What does this do? Aqua Ball upgrade. Aqua Balls are similar to the regular balls. The bomb ball explodes into four smaller balls when it comes contact with the bag. Each small ball gives 30% of the bomb gold. Shoot bombs balls will be returned once the bomb ball or four small balls enters the bucket or falls to the pit. Rock balls are good for clearing out pegs that are close to each other. Bouncing balls are good for clearing out multiple pegs. Okay, so obviously the aqua ball is money. Which is extremely disappointing, so to speak. I mean, it is extremely disappointing. This is 13 million. If it were, if it said 1 million point three, then maybe it would be doable. But this is 13 million. 1.89 million, as that says. Man, we're super duper duper rich. Okay, I think at this point we're now gonna just make money and just level everything up to madness, and then I'm gonna just showcase the madness for five or ten minutes. And then that should be it, because I'm super duper rich right now. I don't think leveling up the Aqua Ball helps, really. Uh, other than, obviously, economy gain. So, let's make some Econ. Right? Let's make the Golden Pegs a bit more worth it. Let's uh, make more Econ. And then, the next thing is we're gonna level up the bombs into a million levels. So, it's gonna be raining bombs, it's gonna be raining everything. Let's get this rain unlocked, too, so we have it. I don't want you to be raining, though. Do I have this rain? Yes, I have it. Let's level this thing up. Okay, I'm gonna level up all the rains. So we make super duper money, we level up all the rains, and we are done. The fact that the orbs feed into itself for economy is really nice. Like, the moment you get the next orb that gives you money, you uh, you will be leveling it, it, it itself up from it itself. I don't want the blue orbs to get attack speed though, that's useless. I do want to make us more econ. So uh, give me a second to farm a lot of money and then level everything up. And then I'm going to showcase what the run looks like after you have, you know, everything with crazy cooldowns and it's going to be raining pegs, you know, uh, orbs. So give me a sec to farm now. Okay, so uh, at this point I have invested about a million of gold in each of the orbs. Uh, now, I did also invest a bit of the economy they gain. Maybe that was a mistake. I don't think it really matters that much. Let's also invest... Wow, that's super duper expensive. So, um, the main thing we have been done here is that we shoot almost every single orb, almost every single second. Like this every 1.1, this every 0.8, this every 0.6, and this every 0.4. And this is also every 0.2.8, but who cares? Let's actually activate all of these and let's make it rain, boys. And let's see what this game looks like in its auto-shooter mode. And these guys even hit this thing. 
Is this gonna get hit ever? Let's see. Yes, it got hit. Let's see how fast we're gonna be clearing voids now. Uh, because now we'll be also shooting alongside everything else, of course. Now I would like to only be shooting explodo bombs, though. Let's see how fast it goes. Let's see how fast we clear things. Because I think that's pretty much the idea of how you're supposed to play this. You just stay in a area, make a bunch of money, and then just... Make it rain, boys. Make it rain. Like, just just do this, I think. is This is how the, the game is supposed to be played. In all the levels and all the stages. Another st board cleared. Another board cleared. Uh, let this play in the background. We got clear all level 2 boards. Very nice. Increase golden peg spawn chance by 0.5. Yeah, we don't have that mechanic even unlocked, honestly. There is uh, one orb waiting here. Are you serious right now? Nothing can actually get there? Nice. Got it. Let's go. Okay, this looks like a very simple level here. We should be clearing that pretty fast. Nice. Got some money out of that too. And this is the stage that we have issues with previously. So let's see how this is gonna go now. I'm gonna make it rain. Wow, that's done already. Okay, let's make it rain more of those aqua orbs that don't do anything. We're gonna end this video, I would say, when we hit. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna care about the 300. If you wanna see more of this, I might do a live stream on this and maybe we can just play and chat because honestly, there isn't really that much gameplay in this. So this is a very good game for chatting, honestly. Um, so yeah, you wanna see more of this? Comment down below and tell me about it. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, helps out the channel a lot. I'm gonna play until we hit 200 prestige just to showcase how fast we can get to 200 prestige when we have this whole thing going on here. We're already at 112 though. Um, so yeah, 200 prestige is the play. Also, let's actually see over at the prestige view. Level 3 needs 250. So let's say at 250 is when I'm gonna close this off because... Oh, also, I'm not gonna actually... Um, what is it called? I'm, I'm gonna show you here something. I'm gonna show you something. There is also an idle game offline mechanic in this game, as all those idle games have. Hit 5 red pegs. I'm just getting random achievements all over the place from uh, this thing. Nice. Look at this. This is going so well. There's going so well. There are a lot more orbs, by the way, off screen here that are not visible. Let's make it rain. I would say these are useless. More bouncing orbs. Nice, they are 0.4 now. Look at this, it's just raining bouncing orbs. How is this gonna get hit? Tell me. Maybe like that. Maybe with high shots. Come on, like this. It's raining. Maybe with some bouncing shots up there. Got it, nice. So let's continue shooting. Uh, 140 prestige is what we already got to. So we are amassing these pretty fast now. And from 140, boom, up to 144 right away. Cleared in our stage, let's go, my charges. We're getting 11 charge per stage here. I think the previous stage we ended at 11. Yeah, I think we ended it at 11. So is it after 11, 10? Or is it after 11, 9? If it's 10, then yeah, I think it slows down slower than, I mean, it should be slowing down slow if possible. Let's go on shooting around. Boom, 11. Let's go machine gunnery. And after this, I mean, the machine gunnery is just 15 shots, but I'm pretty sure because it's green, 15 bolts will be shot in a faster succession. I think this is, uh, it's gonna, it will have meta progression that makes it shoot faster, I would assume. I mean, there's meta progression for shooting two orbs per shot, so. Okay, are we gonna be able to hit that? Yes. We got 600 coins, so let's actually make it rain even faster on the boulders, I guess. Maybe I should make this go faster. Oh, by the way, there is also another mechanic, like once again in all idle games, where um, every 25 levels or 50 levels, I'm not really sure, you get your orbs. They tear up. As you see, this now gives us 5 coins per level up because it's level 61. This is for level 48, it gives us also 5. If I invest a little bit more of this... Wait a minute, does this not give us levels? 49... And next one, no, I guess it's every 30 or something. I don't remember the exact number. 30, 35, I don't know. But there is the system where you get more money out of these every time you level them up a bit. No, no one was hitting that. Okay, we're at 188. So at 250, actually, let's end it at 200, as I already mentioned that I'm gonna end it. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna um, prestige anyway. There is no reason for me to prestige here. Maybe somebody wants to see the next stage, but the thing is that this here is a very good farming spot right now, so I would... If, if, if I'm gonna play this again ever, I would like it to be in a state where farming is easily done, and I don't want to start from scratch again and have to clear out the boards. But I do believe that going on stage 1 to farm is better than going on stage 2. I don't really enjoy stage 2. Maybe this stage is good. Maybe this level on stage 2 is good. I guess the stage on level 2 board, this board, this board, that's what I'm saying. This board on level 2 is good, but otherwise I don't think uh, World 2 is a good one. 
So we got the 212 here. Let me actually showcase one last mechanic in this game. And then that would be that. So what I'm going to showcase now is that I'm going to close the game. I'm going to just go over here and be like, yeah, let's go quit. By the way, there are leaderboards. It's just statistics. But there are mechanics that we don't even know about. Ooh, ooh mechanics we don't even know about. So uh, let's close the game. Let's go. Uh, first of all, let's get the stage done just because. Nice. So, ooh, another board. Yeah, this is addictive, man. This is addiction. The, the, the moment I get the board with arrows, I'm stopping. Boom. Nope, that's not it. Anyway, I'm stopping still. So, let's go save. And then we're gonna go set auto balls on all balls. Ah, so you can just go on and off here, and then it just straight up stops for all of them. That's nice to know. So, let's go save and quit. And uh, now it's gonna launch. And uh, the first thing that happens is this thing. Uh, boom. Uh, so, obviously, right now, nothing happened, but... This is just a showcase I wanted to show that there is, uh, while you left, things were happening. So uh, now what's going to happen is I'm going to stop playing this game until this video gets uploaded and until something else also gets uploaded because it's going to be one off. And then maybe, you know, if people are really, really watching this, I will come back after two, three days, maybe a week, you know, so keep an eye out for this. If you're one of those people that enjoyed this, comment down below and drop a like so this gets traction so that the algorithm pushes it. And then if this gets a lot of traction, I'm going to come back and we're going to start with like 100 or 200 prestige points or I don't even know how much you gain from this. I don't know if this gives you a lot or if it gives you a little. I, I don't know how good this uh, time gone mechanic is in this game. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And at the end of the day, we did actually end the video at 250 prestige, as I promised, because I always keep my promise. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.